Welcome to ECLIMO Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous topic, we discussed electrostatics and we say the electrostatics is the study of static charges. We also talked about two types of charges, that is positive charges, which we call protons, and negative charges, which we call electrons, when they are found in an atom. So we also looked at the relative position of these two particles, where we said if you have an atom, this is an atom, which has a nuclear, which has a nuclear, which is this, a very small space in, inside an atom, that is where we will have our positively charged particles, that is protons. And then in the energy levels, we have electrons which are negatively charged. And these electrons which are negatively charged, we say they are always in motion. And what we are going to realize is that the protons, or what we realize is that the protons cannot be moved because they are in the inner part. It's only electrons which can flow. So in this topic or in this lesson, we are going to discuss electric current and we are going to define electric current as the rate of flow of charges. Now, my question is, what type of charge can move? In this case, we have said it's only electrons which can move. So when we are going to define electric current as the rate of flow of charges, then we are going to study electrons because it's only electrons as a type of a charge that can flow. So we are going to, to study electrons which are moving per unit time. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to define and describe current, also state the SI unit of current, and then come up with a mathematical expression from the formula of current, that is current is equal to charges per unit time, and then use this expression to perform different numerical uh, examples concerning current charges and time. So what is current? Current can be defined in two different ways. And the first way in which we can define current is that it is the rate of flow of charge. When we talk about rate, we mean we are comparing flow of charges per time or per unit time. So in this case, we can also define current as the flow of charges or of charge by unit time. And we can write this mathematically as current. The symbol for current is I. So we can write it mathematically as current, which is its symbol is I, is equals to charges or charge, which its symbol is Q per unit time. The symbol for time is small t. So if we can write in terms of simple, then it can be current is equals to charge per unit time. Now the SI unit of, of current is ampere, ampere written as capital A, as you can see here, that is the SI unit of current. But also we can get the SI unit of current from the definition. Look at this, Char charges are measured in coulombs. So the SI unit can also be in terms of coulombs or coulomb, which is written as capital C. Then per unit time, the SI unit of time is second, whose symbol is small s. Therefore, we can have another SI unit of SI unit of current. Apart from ampere, it can be coulomb, coulomb per second coulomb per second, which its simple is C per S. So in this case, it means one ampere, one ampere, one ampere is equals to one coulomb, coulomb, coulomb per second, which we can write in simples as one ampere is equals to one coulomb per second. So that is the, the relationship between a coulomb per second and the SI unit of current as amperes. So current is measured using an instrument in a lab called an ammeter. And in the lab, if you find an ammeter, it is the only simple with a scale and with a letter capital A in the middle. 
to do multiple equations so that we use the equation that we have just derived involving calculation of current using the flow of charge per unit time and before we start this equation i want to remind you one thing when you are doing physics questions the first thing that you must do is you list down what you have and what you don't have before you start your calculation so the question reads calculate the amount of current flowing through a pulp if 360 coulomb so the charges that we have is 360 coulomb of a charge flow through it in two minutes so the time that we have is two minutes but remember time we deal with it in terms of si unit that is seconds so if we have to change this time now into si unit it will be two times 60 seconds which will give us 120 seconds so the time we have is 120 seconds then now they want us to calculate current so the current is what we don't have now when you list down what you have like this it will be very simple for you to calculate so if we now write our equation current is equals to the rate of flow of charges per unit time so do we have current we don't have current is equals to charges do we have the charges yes 360 coulomb over time we have time in si unit which is 120 second so this one we can we can give as current is equals to this zero will go with this zero and then how many times does 12 go to 36 it goes 1 to 12 and then 3 to 36 so our answer will be 3 coulomb per second which we can also give as current is equals to 3 ampere since we said 1 ampere is equals to 1 coulomb per second 1 ampere is equals to 1 coulomb per second so first you write down what you don't what you have and then you write down what you have then now you change everything to si unit and then you you write your equation and then you solve like that let's do another one so that we see if we have understood the question reads calculate the amount of current flowing through a bulb if 720 coulombs of charge flow through it in 200 seconds so let's write down what we have and what we don't have we have a charge of q we have q which is 720 coulomb then we have time we have time as 200 second then we are looking for current is the one that we don't have and now if we write down our equation current is the rate of flow of charges that's q over t then now do we have current no we are look we do we have charges yes that is 720 coulombs then do we have time yes 200 second then now this first zero will go with this zero then this one zero will put a point there then now how many times does two goes to 7.2 then in this case we are going to get our current as 3.6 ampere which we can also give as current is equals to 3.6 coulombs per second so let's do another question the question reads find the time it takes for a charge of 960 coulombs to pass through a conductor where a current of 4 ampere is flowing so here we are given a charge of 960 coulombs then we are given current of 4 amperes then we are told now to calculate time it takes for 960 coulombs to pass through a conductor where a current of 4 ampere is flowing so if we write our equation down current current i is equals to the rate of flow of charges or charge per unit time do we have current yes we have current as 4 ampere 4 ampere is equals to do we have charges yes 960 coulombs then do we have time no that's what we are looking for then in this case now for us to solve this 
we make t the subject of the formula and we can make t the subject of the formula by multiplying t both sides times t this side and then times t on the other side then t on the right hand side will go with that t on that side then we will have as t times 4 ampere is equals to 960 coulomb then now in this case we will divide by 4 ampere on both sides so here we divide by 4 ampere divide by 4 ampere then this 4 ampere on the left hand side will go then we will remain with t is equals to on the other side now we will have 4 4 how many times does 4 goes to 960 4 goes 1 here it goes 2 4 0 so it's going to be time is going to be 240 second or seconds so in this case you if you are given current and charges then what you are looking for time you make it the subject of the formula it means you put it on one side and then you take the rest on the other side so let's try out the last question and in this case we are given current and time they require us to calculate charges the question reads they calculate the amount of charge passing through a point in a circuit if a current i of 5 ampere is flowing for 1.5 minutes so time we have is 1.5 minutes but remember time we always work with time in si unit so we must convert this into seconds so one one minute is 60 seconds so we are going to do 1.5 times 60 which is going to give us 90 seconds so the time we have is 90 seconds and then they require us to calculate charge q so in this case if we write our equation current is equals to charge per unit time then do we have current yes current we have as 5 ampere is equals to charge which we don't have per unit time do we have time yes 90 seconds so in this case for us to calculate to get charges then we multiply by uh by 90 second both sides times 90 second times 90 second then in this case on the right hand side 90 second will cancel out with 90 second then we will remain with q is equals to 90 second times 5 ampere so in this case we are going to get our charge as 90 multiplied by 5 which is going to give us 450 uh, coulombs remember the si unit for charge is in coulombs so in this case when you are given current and time it's very important to write down what you have and then you convert everything to si units then now you write your equation for current and then you substitute whatever you have there and then you make what you don't have like in this case q you make it the subject of the formula it means you put you you make it remain on one side and then you transfer the rest on the other side so that marks the end of our lesson today in the next lesson we will discuss types of current